life for your life and reject it. You better give me space, I'm protective. My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened. And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive. Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate. And we are back. My name is Matt Joe from Joe's Card Stash is on that cyber screen. And welcome to the Joe's Card Stash X Golden Octagon Card Chat number 12, Joe. Officially a full year of doing wow. these bad boys. So, really? you know, <laughs> uh, you know number 12, at least 12 months. So, you know, a little, a little bit over a year now, I think. I think like maybe like 14 months of doing it because a couple months we didn't do it. But yeah. We're here to talk about some UFC cards, and, you know, it would only make sense, Joe. It has just released. We are going to talk about the one and only Tops 20.4 UFC Chrome, dude. Uh, going to be an interesting show. Go ahead. Before we get into that, I have to talk about this ridiculous thing that I'm wearing. Um, <laughs> we uh, Matt and I made a bet with the Cheeto-Sean O'Malley fight, and I was going to shave my mustache uh, if uh, Cheeto lost, but my wife just no fucking way that was happening. So I told him I had to do something different. So I said I would buy a Sean O'Malley shirt and wear it on our next live if O'Malley won. And obviously O'Malley kicked the shit out of my boy. So that is why I'm wearing this. So I'm going to wear this right now. And then as soon as this is over, I'm going to write fuck you on it and mail it to Matt. <laughs> hey, there's a, there's a perfect spot for nice. it like right right around here so joe can <laughs> add an addition to the set but yeah so uh on today's show we are going to cover 2024 tops ufc chrome joe has some new pickups that he uh he's going to show off as well and then we'll finish off the show the chat's already popping we're going to have plenty of q a joe but with that being said brother uh right before we start getting in, uh, into the chat uh you want to let everyone know how you've been over over the past month or so man I've been good. Um, yeah, like, you know, the I'm sure you're the same. This this Topps Chrome thing felt like a whirlwind, uh, you know, waiting, 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 and then it gets here. And then, um, you know, I had made a little uh, deal with Midwest Cards to make some reels for them, which I've never done that before. So I was making those every week. And, and so it's, it's been kind of busy, actually. And uh, uh, I'm, you know, pretty happy with, with – uh, the release and you know people seem happy with it obviously we're going to talk about it there's things i like and i don't like but it seemed to go well at least i'm just happy there's something out there it felt like we were in no man's land for a while so um pretty psyched on that and i'm also going to show some other things that i picked up that are not tops chrome so we'll talk about that in a little bit too hell yeah hell yeah but before we get into that joe uh we got two new members here on the channel we got eduardo Sil oh man, I'm gonna butcher your last name, brother. I do apologize. I'm just gonna call you Eduardo. I'm not even gonna ruin it. I appreciate you for being a coming for becoming a member over here on the Golden Octagon. It truly means a ton, brother. And Sugar Sharp on here also becoming a member here on the Golden Octagon. Once again, truly appreciate it, brother. I'm both guessing them, these are both of them know you can get one of ones if you become <laughs> a member. Exactly, exactly. That's what I was about to say. Is they've probably seen the uh the members video that happened. Last night, dude, absolute madness. One of one, <laughs> Jeremiah Wells, was hit by a member on here, and I shipped it off to him earlier today. Absolutely right. nuts. The Golden Octagon and Joe's card stash. Back at it again. Say less. Class it back in session. Appreciate you stopping by today, number one. Lush Low Main, dude. He's in here every week, dude. So supportive. Uh, welcome to the family, Eduardo and Sugar Sharp. See, look. Already welcoming people to to the group, dude. Lush is a one, dude. He is truly awesome. the best. Uh, Sugar Sharp, glad to be here. Truly appreciate it, man. Been watching TGO for a while. Had to join up after that crazy one of one of one. Went and pulled an optic. Went and got an optic blaster today and pulled a Jeremiah Wells. Not auto, wow. not numbered. Well, I mean, uh, as soon as you saw like the Jeremiah Wells, you should have been like, ah, it's not going to be like the one of one. I just now saw that one got pulled, but dude. Imagine getting like 
a one of one Sean O'Malley or like Israel Adesanya or Khabib from a blaster, dude. Honestly, because you said it a bunch over the, I, I guess, last year or even the year before that you didn't think Optic, they, it said it had one of ones, but you never yeah, like dude. believed it, which is yeah. hilarious because I don't think I've seen anyone pull one but you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nuts. <laughs> they're oh, all man. just they're all just sitting in cases, dude. <laughs> oh, sorry, Luke. That sucks. <laughs> uh Jay's card stash. I finally ripped a box. Torch this product. <laughs> yeah, round one instead. Uh what's up? Welcome, Eduardo and Sugar Shard. This is the place for the blaster one of one pulls. And look, this is the guy that got it last night. The champ is here. Edgar H with the one of one Jeremiah Wells last night. So shout out Edgar H for being a member over here and you know being lucky enough to get a one of one out of a blast there, dude. Just ripped the hobby. International flair shall forever be referred to as bloodlines in my house. I'm sure we'll yeah, talk about that. Name on you. <laughs> I'm back, boys. Randy Poppy, I need you, brother. I need you to email me your address. This is yours from last month. It is a Eight out of 25, remember the name, Bilal Muhammad Autograph. If you don't have my ad, uh, my email address, sorry, Joe, for cutting you off real quick. I've been waiting on him for a month now. <laughs> send, oh, please send me your address to this uh, email, and uh, I will get it shipped over to you. Or if you don't want it, please just let me know that as well. And, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I will just uh, – reinsert it back into the giveaway so yeah with that being said continuing on got a mega box from my local car store today uh about to rip it but need to be blessed by you guys joe i will let you bless him first bless you hope you pull <laughs> a one of one uh, i i have two two megas here but i guess i haven't really looked into what you can get out of them yet so I, I actually I have one on the way. Uh, I think the main things with the megas is you can get X fractors, but there's a lot of them. I don't, you know, it, it's it's kind of like those magentas and purples and all that shit. There's just okay. a ton of unknown. I know cards. in one of the products you can get like the Allen and Ginter yeah. cards, and well, those look pretty sick. I think it's a blasters, uh, oh, okay. but that's a sick that's a sick thing for the blasters. Yeah, they look okay. cool. Well, you know, Lush, good luck, dude. You always have my luck, man. If you uh, if you didn't know, any blessings are always with you, dude. You you help out so much to the channel, dude. It is absolutely nuts. Whoa, whoa Joe, are you wearing a sugar shirt? Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, let's go, Joe, from Joshua Lopez. Uh, Daniel Aker, let's go in here. We've got Lush Lomain. Good move, Joe. Can't make the wife mad. Uh, much love for the gold. Not good. I appreciate it, Joshua Lopez. Uh, I got my hobby box, $250 burned. I'll be opening on my upcoming vacation if I have the discipline. Good luck, brother. Uh, you know, I've, I think discipline, dude, you two made me have discipline because <laughs> if not, dude, I would open up everything in one day. But once I made myself do videos every week, I'm able to limit myself. Hey, I'm going to open a box, you know, this day. I'm going to open a box this day. I can plan it out, and it's good to go. So uh, good luck, brother. You got it. You're in You're in charge of your life. Don't let the cards control you. Hopefully you have um, a great vacation. Yeah, me too. Me too, brother. Ho ha have a great vacation. Randy Poppy, what's up, Matt? What's up, Joe? What's going on, Randy? uh just reordered my hobby box hopefully i get some fire well hopefully you only paid like was it the hundred blush i think you like we were chatting hopefully you only paid the hundred brother hey matt uh who is your bottle of heller head sound one i have uh one side and have you tried it uh michael chandler i got this in nashville uh when uh at a meet and greet i have tried it uh like when i like went there and in my opinion it kind of tastes how long are we in here? Yeah, we're good. In my opinion, it kind of tastes like a banana flavored like asshole. Not not my favorite alcohol, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it, it, it's Conor McGregor's sweat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just want to know who picked the checklist. Yeah, that's a good question. Bro, I honestly didn't think Matt and Joe would talk after that fight. Nah, no, dude. Didn't. Yeah, we're good. It's all good. I need Alan, Alan and Ginters. They look so good. Yeah, I'm a fan as well. Hell yeah, going to hit you up now. Thank goodness, Randy Poppy, because I was worried. Because I told everyone, if you didn't hit me up by April 1st, it was going back into the giveaway lot. So you, 
you, you made it. You made it just in time. All right, Joe. So with that being said, we are through all the new comments. <clears throat> Thoughts on 2024 Tops Chrome, man. Um, let me start off like this because this is my biggest thing. What are your thoughts on Tops not stamping rookie card, the little like the rookie stamp on what should be all of these fighters' rookie cards? But on the autograph card, they'll have the rookie stamp there. Can oh, you explain? Yeah, dude. So the auto has it? Yes. Honestly, like my newest theory is that is why they they stalled the release. I think it was a fuck up. I I, I can't think. I, I've heard people say that they think it's um, if they had a Tops Now card, they didn't get one. But if you look, tons of them don't have Tops Now cards, so it's not that. And a lot of people are like, oh, you had to have a certain amount of fights for them to like give you a rookie designation. It's not that either because they've done that. You know, if you look back in the past, there's people that have been the UFC for years and got rookie logos. So I think they just messed up. I think it's a QC thing and they, they fucked up and they just decided, you know what, we're just going to deal with the repercussions. Cause I mean, yeah. there's, there's a good, I feel like there's at least 15 to 20 rookies that don't have it. That should. Yeah. The only thing that, that kind of made sense to me was, I don't know if like you meant to say like the Panini instant, uh, let me say like the tops now, but, uh, like the Panini Instant cards. Maybe mm -hmm. if they have had a Panini Instant card, that is the only reason why it wouldn't be on there. That I, That's I, the I, only thing I can think of. But if that's the reason, that's a bullshit reason, dude. That's – no. No. It's, it's, it's really not because I think – I looked up like three or four fighters and they don't have Tops Now cards. So it's just okay. – it's just – I think it was a mistake. Um, yeah, uh, what's her name? Uh, Natalia Silva. I looked her up. She doesn't have a Tops Now card. She doesn't have a rookie logo. Um, there was like two or three others. So I don't think that's it. Um, yeah, I think, I think they just messed up and it, that's, that's a big mess up. Cause that sucks. Cause that's, you know, if it's your rookie card, like that's I really mean, important, you know? I mean, but if you know, everyone wanted to go back to the old tops, you got exactly what you wanted. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then it's back with none. So. <laughs> um yeah i like i have a whole list of things like i i did a list of pros and cons things that i like about top chrome and things that i don't like and uh it's it's honestly pretty even um you want me to go into it real quick yeah man okay all right so um things i like about tops chrome I think they they use better photos. I think they use more action photos, just better photos in general. I know they did reuse uh, a few photos, which I mean that that sucks. Panini did that too. I really hope they stop doing that. That's annoying. Um, but I do think they did better better with the photography, which is huge for me as a photographer. Like I I was so sick of Panini. Just every other photo is just this with you know the ref holding up somebody's hands, and. Uh, I, I was really happy Tops has way less of that. Uh, I think the quality control was better. Um, the box I opened and the stuff I've seen, there's still some off-centering here and there, but the surface issues are way better. I feel like with Prism, with Panini, you had a lot of dimples in a lot of cards, and those aren't fixable or cleanable. They're just, it's going to knock you down a grade. And uh, so that always bothered me, and these seem pretty clean. The ones I've seen, you know, corners look good, surface looks good. The only thing you got to look at is centering. Um, less redemptions. I've only seen a couple of redemptions. I mean, I haven't so, seen any yet. Uh, I saw cool. a couple. I think there was two or three autos, uh, but very, very few as compared to like, you know, 2023 Panini's full of them. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, that could have been because they were leaving soon, but even 2022 has a lot of them. Um, better promoting. I like the, the buyback thing. I think a lot of people are talking about Great. that. I, yeah. Uh, the thing they did with Midwest cards uh, is pretty crazy. I mean, Midwest gave card uh, boxes to um, Aaron Blanchfield. A whole bunch of fighters opened this stuff up. And, uh, you know, that stuff spreads around. You know, I, th I definitely seen a lot of people that don't normally open UFC cards opening this product. So I think Tops pushed pretty hard. They made a commercial, too. I haven't seen it anywhere. I only saw it on uh, the Tops uh, Instagram account. But, you know, maybe if they show that during a UFC fight coming up, that'd be really cool. It's like got Bruce Buffer talking, you know, stuff like that. So, again, it's, you know, the money Fanatics has to, to make something like this. And I like that the fact that they gave us pack odds, uh, you know, 
we're able to look, you know, you did a whole video on it. We're able to look at these inserts and figure out how many of them there are, you know, with kabooms, downtowns, all those, you have no clue how many of those are. They never gave us that information. So that's pretty cool. Top says it with baseball. It's not surprising that they did it here. Things I don't like, and uh, I'm pretty, there's a lot. <laughs> Number one, the checklist. I thought the checklist was going to be better. They left out a ton of rookies that I was hoping was going to be in there. I was really hoping they'd just throw in like some surprise autograph that we would just be like, holy shit, you know, John Jones, Conor McGregor, something like that, that would make this just fly off the shelves. But that wasn't in there. Um, too many inserts. Uh, this has been, you know, everybody's talked about this. There's a fuck ton of inserts. I don't understand why they did so many. It, it makes it feel like Don Russ to me. You know, there's just, it's just too much. They could have cut that in half. Some of them are this cool. insert. Yeah, tail <laughs> tape's terrible, dude. <laughs> um, like you mentioned, the the rookie logo fiasco. That was just a bad look. Um, I think the price of the box. I think it's too high. I think uh, honestly, I don't think it's that high. It's not like 2022 Prism high. You know, 400 bucks. Those were always way overpriced. Even you know, obviously, 21 Prism is ridiculous. But um, dude, I think, I think 22 came out at 800 still. Was it 800? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus, we're idiots. Because that was um, the one that I lost the most on. Because I, because it wasn't over a thousand, but once it came out at 800 and I got a box and then it dropped to like 600 and I got multiple boxes because I was like, it's going to go back up. I know it. I have to get it while I can buy it. And then it just tanks, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think, in my opinion, I think these are. If they would have started at 200 and then maybe the market brings it down to about 150, I think 150 for UFC card boxes are pretty good, unless it's something high end like, you know, um, Immaculate. I think Top's going to put out Dy Dynasty and that might be really, really nice, but hopefully they don't go crazy because, you know, people don't have the money for that stuff. And they got to understand the market. You know, this isn't baseball, this isn't basketball. It's, it's going to be lower. So I don't think they were way off. I think. 200 would have been good to start at and then let the market come down from there. Uh, I, I think the design, I mean, you know, this is all subjective, but I think the design looks very Panini-like. I wish it was more like, you know, tops, what I remember of tops cards, which is, you know, very no simple design, you know, photo goes to the edge, that type of stuff, not a big border. But like you, you've said many times, most of the people doing this worked at Panini, so it's natural that they're going to design like that. And that's it. That's all I got. But yeah, dude. I will say I do. I've been in contact with someone that works at Tops in their UFC card department, and he told me when I was talking to him to hit him up and let him know what I think of Tops Chrome. So I am going to make like a crazy email telling him all the things I like, all the things I don't like, and hopefully, since he's somebody who's in the room with this stuff, it'll make a difference. If you guys want to hit me up and anything I left off, let me know because uh, I do have the ear of somebody who is kind of making these things. Great to know. So anytime you want to complain about Topps uh, UFC, hit up Joe because he is willing to uh, <laughs> willing to hear it. <laughs> uh, real you. quick, Joe, I want to take a picture. Of, I don't know if I can get it up now. I probably can't get it uh, uploaded onto here. Man, have you seen Magomed Ankalaev's card? Oh, yeah, where you can't tell who's the card. Dude, yeah. like – it's it's like he's getting kicked, dude. Mm -hmm. Like I tried to. It, here we go. Should have had an extra camera for this. <laughs> here we go. But he's fighting Jan Blahovich, mm -hmm. dude. Clearly getting kicked, dude. And it's like it's almost like they don't know who Magomed Ankalaev is in this picture, dude. It's that, that quite that funny, awful. dude. <laughs> No, it was honestly like there, there's some bad photos in there, but like, <laughs> like the, the, the Hamzat card is one of my favorite cards. I mean, that's an incredible the base card where he's like squatting, looking at you. Um, the the Yuri card is beautiful. There, there's just a lot of good photos. Yeah, they I like a lot. In there. Yeah, I like a lot of like what you said, like the action photos. Like, um, but I guess uh, my thing is a lot of the photos that they picked. Uh, for the cards, for the fighters, were like maybe fights that they lost. Like that's what I'm like, kind of like, why did y'all pick that? Like for Izzy's card, it's him, like fucking fighting Sean Strickland. It's like, 
why did y'all pick that fight out of all fighters the, 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 the big the I mean, one he loses you know honestly like like this is one of my dream jobs i've always thought i would love to have this job which is a photo editor at a card company to choose these things but if you there's just there's so many photos you could probably choose from so the fight itself probably doesn't matter as much as like finding a good photo that you can get for a good price because every photographer is going to price these differently and i'm sure there's budgets yeah. and shit like that but for me the main thing is like dude just don't reuse them i can't stand that like they reused the photo of hamzat you know that his rookie card photo they reused it in an insert in this product and that's such an iconic photo for me because that's his rookie card. Like I chase that card like crazy, and now seeing it on another card, it, it just ruins it. Like, don't reuse photos. That that really bums me out. Yeah, I can see why people wouldn't like certain things like that. And one thing, I guess one of the biggest things that I noticed is I can just kind of show you right here. This is a 2022 Prism card, Edmund Shabazian that I have here, and then here is the 24 Tops Chrome, dude. I mean. Does it look that much different? No, not at all. I mean, they they, they really, you know, it, it looks like a Prism card. They really do. But well, you love I'm, Prism, so hey, you got Prism 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> like another thing that I wasn't really a fan of is I know that in the olden days, when I say olden days, uh, 2019 and before, mm -hmm. out of every, on every refractor, Top used to put refractor on the back of it. They're mm -hmm. not on these now, dude. Like on like half oh. of them, they're not on there. Like half, you mean like the prism refractors and the other versions? Yeah, yeah, they're just not on there. But they're on the regular refractors. Um, let me check if it's on a number. Not number, not, but like the the silver ones, you know. The, no, it's not on here. Look here, let me check silver real quick. Let's see, it is not on the prism refractor. Uh, not on magenta. Not on the negative. Here's a regular. Yeah, it's on the regular refractor, and that's it. Mm. Not right, on that's anything another, else. That's another thing I will mention. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's it's on not on any of the other like refractors or any of the number cards, just on literally the regular refractor. Oh, um, another thing I will say, I, I think I think you mentioned this too. I don't understand why they would make a magenta refractor that looks so similar to a red refractor. That's <laughs> um, I got so excited. I was like, first pack, and then I get a red? Oh, my God, dude. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> dude, I got flamed in my first video for just not knowing what was up. It's like, damn, dude. Like, y'all gave me no slack. <laughs> like, that was out the morning the product came out. I paid extra <laughs> to get that box early so I could open it and have it out the morning the the product came out and I just got flamed for not knowing every single detail about that product. So that was where that last video is like stemmed from me anyway. It's like, all right, I got to figure out this product. There, there was a dude on whatnot that opened it two days early, which what you're not, damn. you're not allowed to do, but he did it anyway. He said I, he, he was a baseball guy and he's like, I got these boxes. So I don't give a shit. Like tops not going to cut me off because I don't have a tops account. So we opened it two days early on whatnot. So I think a lot of people already knew like what the cards were going to look like and stuff. So I, I, I know I, I watched it. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, I, like when I, I got like my box from Midwest, which was, you know, I did that thing with them. So they sent me a free box early, which is why I wanted to do that thing with them. Cause they told me they could get it to me before everybody else. But I still opened mine two days after this guy. Cause he got his, he got his from steel city, like crazy early. He must live like next door. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah man. Start start uh, answering some questions. I'll be right back. All, All right. right. While while Joe is gone, uh, let me try to catch up to where you guys were. Um, let's see. Here we go. Tim saying Ariane Lipsky should be a rookie card. I'm pretty sure she has a rookie in uh, Prism. Tim, uh, check out. Maybe 2022 Prism. I think Ariane Lipsky's in there somewhere. I the, it just kind of I just kind of think she might be. I could be wrong, but I I, I feel like I've seen Ariane Lipsky a rookie card be before, but I could be wrong. Uh, honestly, really uh, happy with my box, but lots to lots of room to improve. The product is missing stamps, not many uh, parallels, saturated inserts. Agreed, dude. And I. I guess just while we're here, real real quick, this damn tele tape insert, dude. 
I can't get over the fact that they did this, dude. They every card already has the stats on the back of it. Yeah. Who at Tops was like, hey, y'all know the stats that are on the back of the cards? Let's put them big ass shit on the front. And they're like, what are we going to put on the back? They're like, the same thing. <laughs> that, that's like the the thought process of this card, dude. It just, like, it, it, this card is going to be iconic now ju mm. just because of ju just the relentless abuse that is getting from me for right. this card. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna play uh, tops defender here. What okay. is better? You want that card or you want dominators from prison? Um, how how about this? You want tell the tape? How about do this? Um, name it. What something? Highest fight stats. Some shit like that. Quickest <laughs> finish. Thirty nine seconds. Some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Fucking twenty KOs. Uh, like you know just whatever it, but the same thing on the front and the back dude like you just wasted you just wasted paper or w w fucking wasted whatever this is like i don't know dude like someone will it, buy a super fractor of that for 500 bucks i guarantee dude, i mean <laughs> if i was to hit a one of one of it would i be super stoked like imagine i hit like sean and Mally one of one tell the tape I would be so fucking happy, dude. I I hate the card, but I would be so stoked <laughs> just mm. because it was a Sean O'Malley one of one, dude. <laughs> oh goodness. Here we go. Um tops being unaware or not caring who rookies are and insult to us collectors isn't some fucking basic shit. Yeah, I mean I got no defense for that. Yeah, and it's like you put the you put the stamps on the autographs. Yeah. I don't know. I also didn't see the first auto emblem on E on. Yeah, that that was e. another one, dude. I love first autos. I think that it, it's so cool to know that that's the case. Like a uh, Robert Whitaker would have been incredible to have that, but they didn't do it. And it's weird because they do it with baseball. It's like, you know, I think I, I'm not obviously. I don't I don't know anything about these guys, but it feels like with this new tops UFC. They're very independent from everything else. Whereas like Topps UFC back in the day was very much, they grabbed a lot of things from Topps Baseball. And honestly, I, I wish the new Topps did that more because there's a lot of things in Topps Baseball that I love. And it seems like they're kind of their own thing now. And a lot of their choices I don't like. Yeah, it kind of seems like they it, like the people from Panini just went over to like Fanatics and were like, hey, we're going to run the UFC division. They're like, Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, just joined, so I didn't hear anything. Not stamps rookies, unacceptable though. Indeed, indeed. Uh, goofy <laughs> inserts there. Uh, is the stash getting shaved now? No, I don't. I don't want to sleep not. on the couch. <laughs> uh man i want a museum dude if they put out museum collection i will be happy dude i know it's gonna be ex dude for soccer right now it's like 350 bucks for like the museum collection from like this year it's like because in my card shop i saw it and i asked hey how much is that because my girlfriend's a soccer fan and you know she likes to open up and get or try to get cool soccer cards but uh, 350 bucks for the i think it's like five six cards dude i was like <laughs> what's even scarier and and uh i don't know what they're gonna do is uh because f1 they've had f1 for a while and a lot of people compare f1 to ufc because it's kind of a niche niche market and they have uh tops dynasty for that that's a thousand dollars for five cards and it's like that's not gonna fly i hope they like i think what they're probably gonna do is museum like you said but it is gonna be probably 400 bucks or something like that Pro probably do dude, dude um tim saying i think that 240 price will fall oh yeah it has to dude i think exactly what joe said i think this should be around 150 bucks that's what i'm that's what i personally think it should be and then like the mega boxes are already about half that price yeah like you know it's the the hobby right now has no business being 250 bucks it just doesn't yeah uh I here we the, go the, the, the prices will and the cool thing about the market is the prices will get to what they're going to get to. You know, people will just, you know, there'll be a ton of these boxes and they'll just start going down. And that's the kind of the, the kind of cool thing. I mean, one thing that Tops is really going to fight is that this rookie class, 
not even their checklist, but this rookie class in general just isn't great. So, you know, like, I mean, we're chasing, you know, Diego Lopez and a few other people, but casuals don't know who any of these people are, you know? And uh, like I said, I, it, I think if they could have snuck in a Conor McGregor auto in there, this shit would have been, it would have held value for sure. But, you know, how do you get a billionaire to sign cards? <laughs> yeah, I mean, do this. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and like when he signs the posters joe you would be able to answer this one a lot more than i could because i missed this one in my uh everything you need to know tops 2024 chrome because you know what are the odds of anyone getting this but <laughs> i will let you kind of explain this because you would probably know more about it than me i've, I've seen one on ebay now because i was like what are they talking about so i went to like look it up i'm like holy shit that's not on like a lot of places as a as a card you can get. So I guess I I just not saw it. Here we go. I wonder if the hidden gems cards are going to have the actual gems in them for being like a one in 18 cases. They don't seem very impressive. Uh, Joe, what's your thoughts on the hidden gems card? And do you think we'll have a hidden gem inside of it? No, so that that is something that comes from baseball. They're, they're very, very revered in baseball. Honestly, I kind of like them. A lot of times with these like rare cards, people try to make them, you know, like I, I don't like the energized cards i don't like the let's go cards those are both very rare but hidden gems i kind of i kind of dig it because it is so freaking rare and it's a hid, hidden gem and i think they're pretty beautiful when you look at them um it's like a like a speckle parallel along with something else dude You're yeah like, they, I, I haven't seen them in person obviously because they're freaking so hard to hit but um they they look really cool i i've seen a few in see baseball if i can pull one up on shows. um ebay or, like real sure. quick if you just want to talk to the yeah, peeps sure. um so this is my thing uh and again like i'm just gonna sound like the biggest tops defender here but um i was never a fan of color blasts i was never a fan i thought kabooms had the chance to be amazing and i think they completely fucked up kabooms i didn't like downtown same thing i thought the artwork, artwork was terrible those things all go for the same prices as, as hidden gems are going to go for, you know, it, it all depends on what you like, what, you know, that's my whole thing is I feel like so many people buy these things because they're rare, like buy it. Cause you like it as a car, you know, like don't just buy these things cause they're super rare. Um, so, you know, that, 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 that is what it is. Uh, I personally think the hidden gems look kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not I, gonna buy it for a thousand dollars. That's for damn no, no chance, <laughs> no chance. Looks looks sick. It's like a stained glass along with a speckle. Looks pretty sick. My my understanding, the ones I've seen in person at card shows for baseball, they look very 3D, which doesn't show up in the photos. So I think in in person they're pretty cool. Um, and people always buy cards that are incredibly rare. Um, I don't know if you've seen, but uh. Uh, UFC black card uh, on Instagram. He did a whole thing where he, he figured out he did like, it was crazy math. He figured out uh, with the pack odds and um, how many fighters there are and stuff in the checklist, exactly how many cards for each uh, rare card there are. So like, what was it? The spitting venom. That's one that's really hard to hit. It's actually like there's 200 for each fighter. So it's actually like, it's like hitting a one out of 199. Like it's not that rare at all. So honestly, what his, 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 uh, his research taught me was that like, if you're going to go after cards, go after like the numbered, the really low numbered stuff, like one of ones out of fives, stay away from these inserts because People get excited about them because they don't come up very often, but you know they come up way more often than an out of five does a ruby of a fighter you want. Yeah, I think uh, it's just when it when you look at it like that. Yeah, but it's tough because what am I saying? If I guess there's so many other parallels of like, like the base card. So unless you're getting like a number card, then I, I guess I see what you're saying. Yeah. I guess I see what you're saying, but man, if, if you were to pull something like that, like to like, look at it, like, ah, it, it, it isn't that rare would just kind of hurt my feelings just a little bit. <laughs> 
right? <laughs> like, wh- what if you pull that in your, in, like, your next box, Joe? Are you are you going to be like, there's 200 of these, or are there 200 spitting venom cards, and you know, or are there a thousand spitting venom cards? There's like. I, I guess that's my question. Are there 200 spinning Venom cards total, like through all the fighters, or are there 200 of each fighter? I I, I didn't get his, his numbers exactly right. You'd have to go and look at it. He, I think it's – he has it, like, as a post on his, his uh, Instagram. It's Uf, UFC Black Card. He did a lot of work for it, but um, I don't remember exactly. But, like, this would be a good comparison because I keep trying to compare, you know, Chrome to Prism. What if you got – a color blast and it was actually numbered what it is which is like out of 49 for the sean o'malley and you realize all of a sudden your color blast is the exact same as a aqua prism you know like that's the kind of crazy thing is like if these things were numbered you might just be like oh that's not that great but i think possibly if it's the lowest numbered one like for example i really want the sean o'malley celebrations card that's numbered mm. out of 99. That's like, that's just what it is. Yeah. And it just, that's a dope card. it just costs quite a bit of money. And it's like, mm. man, I don't, I don't want to pay like 250, 300 bucks for that card, but I do want that card. Like, you know, yeah. so it's like, but it's out of 99. And I could get so many other Sean O'Malley autographs out of way less than fucking 99 for $300, yeah. but it's not that one. Like, you know, so I think there's still going to be, that people it's not that one though so i, I don't know I, I i think everyone just dude if everyone just collected what they liked we would not be ever in this weird situation that's of, that's that's, that's honestly work, all man. i'm trying to say is is yeah. like make, just make sure when you're buying this stuff you're not like caring about how short printed it is or anything like that because i'm just like you like the the one card i really want is that habib the the it, it's out of immaculate where he's choking connor and like you said, it's it's out of 99 too, but like they never come up because it's a dope card. Nobody who owns that wants to sell it. Like they're fucking, it's a sick photo. It's a well-designed card. But like the spitting venom, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like if that was like the tail of the tape, like two in every pack, I would not give a shit about that oh, card. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's that cool of a card. Yeah. But also haven't seen one in person yet either. What's up? Sorry to everyone who's pulled a spitting venom card and is very psyched. <laughs> I, I, I mean, but to to be fair, what are the odds that you see two hundred of those listed for sale, dude? You probably, yeah. dude, all year ten might pop up. Like it's still going to be a super rare card to to, to hit. Like you're not going to see that like that many of uh, like of the cards. It's just saying that. Because I've got these damn tail of the tapes, like every, like every single pack, you know, they're just yeah. flying out. But spitting venom, if like I already know, like I've already opened two or three boxes. I know what I have seen enough now to whether if I see something else, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty cool card. Let me go like look into it just a little yeah. bit. And I mean, you know, they don't put the odds there for no reason. Like I'm mm-hmm. like. With like there being two hundred of well, the spitting venoms, that means there's probably like five thousand like of the fucking king and queens then, right? And you know those are coming up probably like every single box now. I've already yeah. got two of them. You know I've opened two boxes and I've and I've got two of them. Some of that, my that, favorite cards. I don't that's care. A good I'm example, probably gonna like, make the set. <laughs> uh, the the kings and queens I've noticed, even though they're they're very common, they're still selling well, and it's because it's a it's a dope card. It's something that like doesn't exist in panini and it's just you know like it's just a cool card so um i think that's the main thing is is just you know if you like it buy it and uh, but always wait when a product comes out give it time to settle um you know if you buy things too quickly there everything's high right now yeah. um there are certain so- things that it's like if you want to buy it you know if it's a gold out of 10 you know yeah, you gotta grab it. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get that shit while it's available. Uh, orange I, is higher. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was gonna ask you because th- this kind of talks about it right now. Uh, is it messing with you that golds are out of fifty? Because that's the big difference I, between. I, I think I covered it in the little thing. I think gold out of fifty is just like, ah, like what are we doing? Like, like gold is gold. Like, make it like 
coveted, like you know, but you have like oranges down, like oranges out of 25. I'm like, but I think oranges has always been out of that. that, 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 They're numbering they they based on the classic classic top stuff, which is cool. I, I, I wish they would lean into that. I wish they would do everything more like the old top stuff. But in my opinion, they should be switched. Like gold should be where orange is. Like you said, like the fact that orange is better than gold seems really weird. But I do like that black is out of 10, red is out of five, and then super fractor is out of one. I do think that's a cool, like, I, I do. I love the black out of 10. That's or shit, some of my dude. switch, switch the red and the gold. That'd be all right. <laughs> like with me too, dude. I don't know. But also red is look red does have some sick dude tops red cards with the red borders dude mm -hmm. nothing beats that like one of those cards they're sick uh sorry uh, uh sugar sharp orange is higher number than gold which bothers me a little or is that normal yeah okay so that's it is normal if you look back it, it goes back to old tops that that's their numbering system is very similar to how it used to be yeah uh and i have uh checking a kick in a fight that was a draw is hilarious to me i don't even know if he's checking it dude i think he's getting blasted with it <laughs> he's like ow enough <laughs> That's pretty funny. I, I didn't even think, like, honestly, like, most of the times when I look at these cards, I don't think about the fight itself, but the fact that, you know, there are photos from losing fights is pretty hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. man, Cheeto's probably going to have a photo with Sugar. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, the representing uh, parallel is misprinted. The represent mm -hmm. parallel is misprinted. Let me mm -hmm. check. I, know, I do know I have one of them here. Like it's spelled wrong or something? I think I might have top loaded it because I realized it was a solid card. Interesting. Let's Yo, Brandon, see. your your profile photo is amazing. Dude, that's a sick duck. <laughs> Representing. Rep. Oh, the country Wait. at the bottom, he says. You said the country at the bottom? Mm -hmm. mm, for everyone or just? I don't know. I mean, Volk says Australia on his. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Representing uh, Windang, Australia. Yeah, that's what it says on his. On the back, too. Dude, there's so much open space on the back of some of the cards. Yeah. Just black. Plenty to see the corners get banged up on. I think I have a maybe Cameron Simon. Oh, he's he said the Habib card says USA. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think Habib would be be happy about that. No, uh, I got Dominic Cruz says USA, and that's the other one I have. So I got a Volk and a Dominic Cruz. Uh, they're they're both correct. Yeah, wild. Um, here we go. Lower number, I mean. Yeah, we, we got you so sharp. Uh, Tale of the Tape was also misleading uh, for the cards came out because it made Tale of the Tape two years ago and they had tape from the glove. Dude, that would have been dope if they put tape from a fighter's gloves in the cards, dude. See, that that would have been perfect, Joe. Mm -hmm. Perfect answer to your question. Get rid of this and just put a piece of the fight tape right in there as a little, uh, well, what's it called? uh fucking patch or whatever they're called dude that that would have been perfect but yeah instead they put what's on the back of the card on the front uh where those tell the tapes old inserts uh from the way back yeah i agree uh photo finish from set from like 2009 would have been rad wow we are so behind joe uh <laughs> orange has always been lower than golden tops joe yeah i believe so all right, Edgar. Uh, let them know how you really feel. <laughs> I do, I do, Edgar. Uh, so uh, some cards just don't look as good as the Panini stuff. Uh, that one insert with the UFC logo repeating behind them are like super imposed, uh, just super rushed. I think he's talking about what's called the Fight Night insert, Joe. Am I yeah. correct? Yeah, I don't like those either. I've heard people say they like them because they look like the early uh, tough cards. But I, I, same thing. It's like a bad Photoshop job. I, honestly, like you could take seventy-five percent of the inserts out for me. Uh, there's a couple that are designed well, and most of them I don't. Yeah, I like the um, I like the AKA insert. It's kind of like a mixture of like, uh, what was the thing from Chronicles? Origins. Yeah, Origins, and but AKA yeah. like at the same time. I think that's that's pretty cool. Uh, do I like the? the giant gold i mean like the giant 
fucking silver thing, a, like across it. Not really, but I mean, you know, just a small design error. Like, if you, yeah. like, do you understand what I'm saying? If if you got all this, you got all this like silver here. Like, why not make the word Shogun a little, a little bit bigger? You know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> just you know, just all that open space there. You know? I don't know. I don't know. But you know, I don't work for tops. I personally take anything over Don. Yeah, dude, you you are not kidding, dude. Don Russ was like the worst product, dude. Uh, I feel sorry for anyone that is opened or still wants to open a Don Russ blaster box dude don't do it don't do it <laughs> uh luke good to see you here dude says austin and luke saying sup brother all right uh <laughs> fight posters are the greatest inserts of all time i wish they would I bring like those back a lot. i have a ton joe that's probably one of the cards from old tops that i have an absolute shit ton of but it's because they put them in like every single product, like mm -hmm. like knock out the what was the main event, dude, and then uh, from Chronicles, dude. They're in basically in every old Topps product. I'm surprised they didn't. Honestly, it's 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 a smart card to put out there. Like UFC works really hard on those posters, and they're they're beautifully designed. They have good designers for them, and it reminds people of the fights, like. It's it's yeah. a perfect card. I, I don't know why and, they, they should put that in something. And like Panini used to do instance of the posters. I'm surprised mm -hmm. they didn't like I'm surprised they didn't put this in that in here, dude. That would have been a fantastic idea putting the poster cards back in here. Mm -hmm. Uh only card or here, sorry, the old tell of the tape cards that had actual pieces of uh tape in their wraps. Uh only paid ninety nine dollars from a hobby box. That's what's up, Flash. That's what's up, brother. <laughs> Uh, will they have USC Chrome Sapphire like baseball and F1? I'm worried they will, and I don't like that product. It's just it's just remaking this product with the speckly shit on top of it. Uh, but I think I think I think oh, Tops is going to oh, do that's that. That's what you were saying. So it's not like a, a whole different. So it's not like an immaculate or like yeah. um like a flawless. It's literally this same product with like a film over top of each card. It's like undercard, you know, like where they just put the the discos on it. It's the same same deal. It's a way for them to make the same product and sell it again with stuff on it. So it's it's not my favorite. I hope they don't do they it. Charge but... way more though. Oh, you said like it was like a thousand dollars. You said no, 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 no. That's Dynasty. That Dynasty, Dynasty is got like, you. Dynasty is like immaculate. Like that's like you know, really really high end like sh stuff like. Uh, mats and pieces of fabric and that stuff. Gotcha. Sapphire is just like, um, you know, F1 did it where it's like they put out chrome and then they put out sapphire and it's like chrome with just a refractor on top of it. it I, I don't, that's just a money grab. Interesting. Uh, all the glory insert is a sleeper. Honestly, I do like all the glory. I'm not a religious person and they look very heavenly, but they're, they're pretty right. dope looking with the sky. I don't know if I've gotten one of those. No, it's, they're only in uh, blasters. Oh, well, blasters? definitely haven't got haven't haven't opened any blasters yet. <laughs> yeah, I think they're in blasters. They're they're pretty sick looking. Um, but again, it, it, you know, it's 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 very heavenly. It, it looks like bow nickel in heaven. <laughs> nice. Uh, I didn't know that the fist of fury um, inserts were uh, pretty, um, like one out of eighty packs or something like that. Not yeah. not not terrible cards. Uh, pretty solid. Um, it. It reminds me of the Panini celebration from Immaculate, like the photo does on it. It's mm -hmm. a solid photo on the Fist of Fury uh, inserts. Uh, all the Glory inserts look uh, really nice. Probably my favorite other than King and Queens. All right. I, I'll have to take a look at those. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a Breakers uh, delight shit. That's why it's so funny when uh, Sal didn't know people and everyone was telling him <laughs> it was SSP. I, I can explain all that to you if you want, okay. but that's a long, long yeah. description. Let, I mean, <laughs> so do you know what Breakers cool. Delight is? Uh, I heard that it, it 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 was a different product that I guess got sent to Breakers with like a different hit ratio inside or something like that. So so Breakers only get it and it has no base cards. So it's just your hits and it's the same price. But you just if you don't want to send base cards to people, it's just like you're gonna get only the refractors only. So like it's a tiny little box, but it's the same price. Um, 
the dude Sal he's talking about is the guy that opened it way early and literally like what as he was on what not opening this and people were just giving him he didn't even know the names of fighters and stuff like he just just got these boxes and like it was it was pretty hilarious it was watching the the ufc card hobby just roast this dude like they're like dude you don't know and they they were telling things him things were case hits that were like not case hits they were just fucking with him it's pretty funny <laughs> oh terrible uh 200 spinning venoms is way less than all of the base cards plus all the different parallels yeah yeah, I got you. Uh, I would love to see an actual stained glass card, maybe where you could see hold up to the light. That would be dope. Uh, Joe, and I'm surprised. Panini made those in yeah, 2012, were... 2014 and 2012 for basketball. They're incredible. But do they still make uh, what's I think it's called Donruss? Clearly, yeah. dude. That's I personally think that's a pretty sick idea. I wish they had one UFC insert like that. That was like a see through dude. That would have. Imagine that, Joe. Like you had see through crowd in the background where it's like, you know, they're kind of faded, but you can still see through. That would have been a sick insert. But instead, we got the, the, <laughs> like the thing you like this yeah. scratch your finger on that changes color that you see. Those remind me of box. Cracker Jack prizes. <laughs> exactly. Like, you Cracker Jack. Um, yeah, I think, I think the problem, I, I don't know how hard it is to make those clear film cards, but I think it's hard for them to make them. And grading those is impossible. Like they're, they get fucked up so easily. So you can't really grade them, but it would be cool to see that again. I, I, I always hope Panini would do it again, but they stopped after 2014. Gotcha. Uh, F that, bring back red out of eight. I am a, a bigger boom. <laughs> I, I need nostalgia. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, the country at the bottom. Okay. Uh, thanks, man. It's actually me. Uh, <laughs> He's a duck. uh, 2021 prism average 15 cards plus silvers, 24 uh, tops, three or four numbered. Yeah. I mean, that's. Uh, but you, there's a big price difference too, dude. There is a humongous price difference. Like when it dropped in 2022, it's because they took out like a number card in every single pack. I think 2021 Prism was kind of like that because you got like a number card every single pack, like was guaranteed a number card. Um, Tops definitely went less numbered cards than Panini does. Like 2023 Prism had a ton of number cards. Uh, it's all depends on what you, you know, like if you look at back at, Panini Prism 2023 numbered cards, they're not worth much because you got so many of them. So it's, you know, yeah, you get a lot of them, but then the market's flooded with them and they're not worth much. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it, dude, it's a give and take. They're the, 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 dude, here we go. I've had people message me on eBay asking me what my lowest price on a card is. And I'm like, hey, man, feel free to offer. Like my lowest is already set. If you try to lowball me, it'll just automatically like decline. And then I went on to a Facebook group and seen the same dude complaining about how people don't want to pay anything for his UFC cards, dude. It's like you're the same person, dude. You are trying to lowball me, but also get mad because people don't want to pay your prices, dude. Like that is the entire UFC card community, dude. I feel like that, dude. If I feel like most people, dude, are it's like, man, I don't, I don't want to pay that much, but I want top dollar for mine. You know, it's just like exactly. that's the thing. You you gotta be you gotta be willing to spend if you're gonna want people to buy yours. Or, like we want these things worth something. You know? Or, dude, it just people will just hold out, dude. Don't sell your cards for. At the end of the day, they're your cards. No one has to sell a card they don't want to sell, and vice versa. No one has to buy a card that they don't want to buy. It like it's like if I have a card up for a hundred dollars and I want a hundred dollars for it, and you don't want to pay more than sixty dollars for it, it's okay, man. You don't have to buy my card. You know, I'm sure yeah. at some point another one will pop up. If not, that's that's the price. Like I don't go to Walmart and be like, hey, Amazon has it online for fucking $20 cheaper. Like, you know, go buy it then. <laughs> cool. Like, yeah. I, dude, when people try to hit me with comps on eBay, I'm like, cool, dude. Like, <laughs> I, I, that, sorry you missed out on that one for $25. Like, yeah. What, I mean, what, what, <laughs> what, what, what hopefully is happening, and I think it's happening with the entire card market, is there's less investment and more collectors. And that's what's going to do it is people will value these things because they want to keep them, not try to sell them immediately. 
uh, and, and that's what we need. We need more people like you. Like you have trouble selling anything. Like I know you, you probably have fucking cards all around you everywhere. Dude, if you, you turn the camera I, it's around. Not, it's not that I have trouble selling stuff is I'll put stuff up on eBay like all at once, like 40 cards. And then I won't do it for like six months. So I just gather, like I, I'll clean up and then I'll gather all this shit up. And then I'm like, Hey, I sold like, 40, 50 cards. Dude, you'd be surprised how many cards I sell. I sell the most random. I don't ever sell expensive shit, dude. I sell so many cards, like 5 to $40. It's ridiculous. Like yeah. three or four every single day. Like every single day. No issue selling like cheaper cards, dude. It's the golds that people only want to pay 184 that I have listed for, you know, 250 You know, it's mm -hmm. like, ah. Uh, Sorry, man. I'm, I'm just going to hold on to it. You know, maybe he'll win a few fights. Uh, yeah. Yes. Khabib says you. Okay. That's where we at. King and Queens insert should uh, turn into a full deck. Dude, that would be sick. UFC yeah. into a magic. Gathering. I agree. Uh, I, I don't think they have a Dustin Poirier King and Queens. Do they, Joe? Yeah, that's crazy. There's no, they missed out on diamonds. That. They missed out on that one. Yeah. <laughs> losers <laughs> i'm a big fan of the fight night insert right. okay people do right. like them uh yeah aka was 2019 2020 knockout i think it looks similar mm -hmm. okay um uh don't <laughs> moments, man. oh goodness i'm sorry luke i'm sorry i think base card should only contain fighters of 2024 roster um or maybe top legends as well like I personally think I feel like Top should have done a little bit of research into the maybe the roster positions, dude. Don't make cards of people that are literally the bottom of the roster that have won zero fights. You know, it's like, can we have them win two fights before they get a card? Like, because what what happened, Joe? Is we got we got. Jamie Pickett, we got Mosrock now. <laughs> we got Parker Porter, dude, that have all been cut from the UFC for a few few months now, dude. And it's just yeah. like getting getting them in this product as a rookie. It I don't know if I've gotten a Jamie Pickett card yet, but if I do, you will see me throw it on video. I will throw a Jamie Pickett if I get a Jamie Pickett card. I don't think I've gotten one yet. And if so, I'm I must have just maybe missed it i don't know dude i'm it, not gonna it, be excited for that it does show you how long it takes them to make these cards because i guarantee you though they were active on the roster when they printed this so you know they're not printing people that are cut so i think it people i have to understand it takes a while to get these things out you also have to understand that especially tops now they're gonna make a fuck ton of this product there's gonna be blasters at every target every walmart so I actually they went out today and I didn't see anything. And I know they came out yesterday. So I went looking today because I was going to try to find something to open here on the on mm -hmm. the chat, dude. And nothing, nothing. Just tops baseball. <laughs> but you know, that that's that's why these 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 checklists are so bloated. They're they're printing more than they ever have. That you know, if you look at Tops Chrome from 2018, there's only hundred base cards. And it's because they didn't make much of it. Nobody cared. Nobody wanted it before the pandemic. So uh that that's part of the part of what you know life as a card, card yeah company. uh trying to uh, send this before uh it went through but uh, hey how autos say congratulations wish they put a regular shit on the back <laughs> dude that that goes back to 2009 the 2009 redemption say congratulations just like that they're they, the very first tops cards are the exact same yeah version. you are correct joe because i have I have a Mike Rodriguez from 2020, and it just says "Congratulations, biggest shit on the back too." And everyone's like, "Who's Mike Rodriguez?" Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, they just say "Congratulations," all caps, dude! <laughs> Exclamation point, all caps! Congratulations. I, I think that that's kind of a thing that's interesting about, and I knew it was going to happen with Tops. A lot of people came into this hobby like us during the Panini years, and if you haven't looked into Tops, all this stuff is new. So you don't realize a lot of the stuff they're doing is just based on what they did a long ass time ago. Um, I do give tops a lot of credit because it was the first, you know, a lot, it, there were, there were cards before it, but 
these are the first UFC cards. So I, I like, like Luke, I have a lot of like respect for the fact that this is like the oldest set you can get. And there is some prestige to that. So I love all that old looking stuff, you know, but I get it. Somebody who's never seen it is like, that looks stupid. <laughs> uh, what is your thoughts on the UFC 300 poster? Have you seen it, Joe? Yeah, it just says 300. What the fuck it's just a yellow flag. It says 300. I'm like, the, the, the like 100 and 200 had sick cards, dude. Hopefully yeah. it's just like a placeholder until it's I, I that's That shocks me because they're usually so good with their posters. I don't know. Uh, the fistographs were sick. I remember those. I remember those. Uh, all the glory looks like a Christian rock band album <laughs> cover. <laughs> uh, Albino Manatee, uh, appreciate you stopping by tonight. He does like the main event autos, clean design and good names. Yeah, I actually, I actually like their autograph. Uh, almost all the autograph uh, designs are pretty dope. And I do like uh, Tops did a better job of hiding the sticker so it doesn't look like a oh, sticker. Dude, the Future Stars is perfect because it's like angled like right yeah. above Future Stars. Dude, it looks perfect. Uh, we got Howitz. Uh, thank you for all the great insights and past and present UFC cards. You guys rock. Appreciate it, Travis Kick. You, you are a uh, gentleman, man. Thank you for your kind words, brother. There we go. Uh, just ripped my mega and pulled two Allen and Ginters. No one special, but sick cards. Uh, do you got an, an an autograph in that too, Lush? I'm interested to know what autograph you got out of that. Uh, is the UFC? I like how Lush is ripping cards while we're doing this, <laughs> dude. Lush, Lush is that guy, dude. Lush is that guy. So, dude, some people I've had people comment. I ordered my box. Can't wait to get it because I want to watch this while ripping. I'm like, dude, that's cool. It's like that's you awesome. watch it while you like rip because it's like you can kind of like learn while you're kind of like you can learn while you're feeling it dude that's the way i learned dude and that's great i'm i'm so glad that can help some of y'all out uh is the ufc 300 just all go with 300 printed on it that's, yes that's all i've seen so far like I, i'm assuming they're gonna put something else out but damn that's terrible yeah uh tops chrome feels like it's enough silence memes and that's enough refractors <laughs> uh yeah if i got uh i pulled different inserts on megas brick by brick and alan and dude Nintendo. brick by brick is awful like i, I, that's I don't think i've seen that terrible. one either. like uh, i guess i'll have to make a whole nother explaining 2024 yeah. tops chrome mega box <laughs> once i open one of those because <laughs> i was thinking that when you made that i was like man he hasn't even touched on the the, the blasters and the, and the megas yeah. like it's crazy how many like uh, inserts they made yeah uh, yeah I, yeah I guess I ought to make a new video for when that. I guess that's just for the hobby. Speaking about lowballing, I had someone offer me a hundred dollars on a PSA ten. Uh, select Alex Pereira out of forty nine scumbags, man, dude. My favorite is just like, what's your lowest on this? Feel free to offer, and then they go. So what's your lowest? <laughs> it's like, so 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 basically what you want is for me to give you my lowest price and then we start negotiating from there because that's what you want man that's yeah. exactly what you want uh yo what's going on dan appreciate you stopping by tonight brother uh i've never sold a one card because i love the ufc mm -hmm. hobby i uh i was like that for a while joe i think for probably or uh, sorry joshua uh, i was probably like that for Probably midway through 2022, I just kind of realized I have to say I don't have any room. There's just stacks everywhere. I have to sell the stuff I don't want. I, I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is like, I'm selling these cards so I can buy so I can buy more cards. You know? Yeah, that's my my total thing about it is that you know I have piles and piles of cards of fighters that I'm just not interested in, and there are plenty of people that do are interested in those things and I'd rather them have those cards and me have the money so I can buy things I'm interested in. And, and you know, and Joe lives in the great state of California, which by no means do we have to say is not the cheapest state in the U S to live in. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. here we go. Uh, sell lots, bro. <laughs> uh, speaking about Alex Burrow, wait, you read that one. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> uh, bring back octagon of, oh, those are dope. Yeah, any feedback on uh, degree grading? It's a new grading company. I've never heard of it. 
Uh, Edgar, please do not send that you're a one of one to degree grading <laughs> company. You might not get it back, man. <laughs> the, I would be so, <laughs> I'm so hesitant to send that anywhere, dude. <laughs> with, with, with any grading company, uh, you got to be careful. Grading is very, very much based on, you know, reputation. you have to have a reputation and it takes a while to build that. So, new grading companies, I mean, TAG is probably the newest and it's probably going to take them another five years to even make a dent on PSA or any of those people because you just, you, you have to do it for years and years and years for people to trust it. Cause you know, you're, you're having them tell you what your card is worth and you can't just have some company that just started in their garage tell you, Oh, this is, this is a great card. Yeah. Or, you know, or them, uh, you know, randomly shut down after having a bunch of orders sent to them. And then everyone's like, what's happening to my cards now? HG. You know, don't want, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, should not uh, should hot prospects be limited to run each season like tops uh, series one and two? What's your thoughts on that, Jeff? That's actually something interesting because Panini, what they would do, uh, you've seen it, is you know they would put rookies in Prism, then you get a select, then you get an optic. What Tops usually does is if it's in Tops Chrome, then they'll put out the next thing, which is, you know, update or whatever. And those rookies aren't in there. So you can only get it in that one product, which is kind of cool because then you don't have a million rookies for each person. Um, so maybe they'll do something like that. I have no idea. This is this is kind of new. Uh, I, I believe. Fuck, I have to look back, but I believe if you had like in Tops Chrome, if you had a rookie and then in Knockout, it was still a rookie. As far as I know, I think those people have multiple rookie cards. Gotcha. Um, just sold my Tatoria yeah, rated rookie out of ninety nine. Heard a little. I'm sorry, he's, Nate. He's 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 high right now, man. <sighs> Joe, I you don't want to keep him safe. <laughs> I don't even, dude. It's bad that I don't even look what cards are worth until I'm listing them on eBay, dude. I I probably have so. I probably think my whole card collection is worth like five grand, and it's probably worth like. 20 grand dude i probably have no idea just just because i'm not i don't care enough to look i it's my cards i'm just gonna hold right. on to it, them and honestly you're you're the reason i uh, true collectors like you guys the people that don't sell cards are this hobby wouldn't work if it was just people just recycling cards there have to be people that truly love these things and don't want to sell them like there needs to be an end user so you know I, I think it's perfectly awesome. I, I love people that tell me they don't sell cards. Like, that's sick. You fucking love these things so much. But, like, for someone like me, it's like I have this channel. I have all this stuff. Like, I have to I, – I don't have extra money to do this. So I have to try to sell some things and buy some things. But that's – I enjoy it, too. Like, I like – it's like having a store. Like, it's fun to, like, buy and sell things. I, I've always wanted to have a store, and this is kind of my, like, little store exactly dude exactly it is fantastic and i love it uh i feel like retail will be less uh, r uh repetitive than hobby i've seen what's your thoughts on uh, retail versus hobby joe i haven't opened a blaster i'd be yeah. interested to see how they look um i mean it's gonna I be the same question. thing probably as always you don't get any numbered cards which i'm a big numbered card person especially with top chrome because they seem rare none out of the blasters <laughs> I, I I don't know. I haven't looked into blasters that much, so maybe they do, but I don't think they have much for sure. Like you, there's a reason you're getting a hobby box. Hobby's gonna have four numbered cards. I don't think the sepias or any of that stuff is numbered. So I, it's yeah. probably gonna be similar to a prism. Maybe you can get one really rare numbered card, but I think they're gonna be pretty hard to hit. Are there the um? Are they in the megas? Do you get? I've, I've, I've seen a couple of megas opened. I don't know that I've seen any numbered cards. I've seen the X fractors. I've seen some. They all have autos, but I don't know that I've seen numbered cards. So I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. We are not prepared uh, for that question. Uh, <laughs> real, real, real quick, Matt. I do got to get out of here pretty soon. Uh, okay. I'm not going to. I'm not going to show what I was going to show earlier. So don't worry about that part. But I do right. got to bounce in like five minutes. Or so. All right, let's let's uh run through these as fast as we can. I got two golds uh and one rookie card auto and a fight night. Very happy with hobby box. That is a fantastic box, uh, Josh. Yeah. That's better than both of my boxes so far. Uh, I did pull a Jamal Hill base and Jamal Hill fired up insert. Fired up insert. I just I just found out this and I didn't know it, but inserts are not uh they don't work for the the buyback. So it's only the base cards and base parallels. So the fired up insert won't work. So don't try to take that to it. Okay. Well, uh, good to know. Uh, but dude, I've yet to get a Diego Lopes yet, or 
Lopez. I've yet to get a Natalia Silva. I've yet to get a Jamal Hill or Alex Pereira. Not Honestly. even a base. <laughs> Not even a base, Joe. Base. None. <laughs> I, I have a feeling you have a monster Chrome box coming. Hopefully, dude. Hopefully. I hope Jim Miller gets the win at 300. Uh, pretty uh, shitty to appear at 100, 200, and 300, and now and lose them all. <laughs> Come on, Jim Miller. Yeah, let's go, Jim Miller. I mean, he's fighting Bobby Green, right? I mean, that's a that's a solid fight. Yeah. yeah. And he's old. Uh, he's old as shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty sick lush from a blaster or mega. Uh, I think it was a mega box, he said. Um, so far, I really like the fight night insert main event auto specifically. Max and Ilya card fight night inserts are I'll awesome. I have to look at those. I haven't seen that. Yeah, me too. Um, my auto was future stars. Uh, Tatiana mm-hmm. Suarez and one of my Allen and Ginthers was hers as well. That's pretty dope. I like um, Tatiana. Mega. Okay, so mega. So there we mm-hmm. go. Uh, Pre order hobby pack and pull, solid pull sign Charles Oliveira. Brandon Allen. That's what's up, brother. Two nice. two fantastic fighters. Uh, the 300 poster is genius. Dana should <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I uh, pre-ordered. I got you, brother. Um, I hope they do a hometown legend like they do for baseball. Oh, that would be super sick. Uh, I I guess it's kind of like the downtowns, right? Yeah, and like you know, people from those towns would be super. I mean, the, everyone loves you know when somebody's from where they live. That's kind of sick. Like that. Is the UFC replica belt worth it, bro? That that like eight hundred dollar one, I would never buy that. This one I got for like twenty bucks off of Amazon. It's made of plastic. Worth <laughs> it. It's for children. <laughs> That's worth it. <laughs> the eight hundred dollar one, not worth it. <laughs> uh, nice lush. Uh, Tatiana uh, going to be champ one day, probably. Uh, is it? Uh, is it a floppy like a WWE belt? Uh, that it's for children. It's literally a children's that. Uh, <laughs> UFC belt. Uh, should hot prospects be limited to eat? Uh, whoa, why did it do that? Uh, we got repeats. Yeah, here we go. Um, I would never send that. Thank you for the feedback. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Uh, prices for eBay stuff crazy right now. Put a max bid on 500 for Diego Lopes. Auto out of five and got outbid almost immediately. I mean, that's, that's I mean, that's everyone said, yeah, every, everyone's like, share a bullet, share a bullet. When I mm-hmm. immediately was like, that that ain't what i'm after <laughs> yeah that ain't what i'm after Fun, uh funny uh side note matt's the only person i talked to during fights i text him and we were watching diego lopez in the must have been the mozar fight was mm-hmm. that when it was and uh, i was I think, like i th- i think it was i was oh, in no, no, he, nashville i was yeah. in nashville watching him fight garrett armfield dude or, that's right Get and I was like, dude, this kid's awesome. legit. Like, I, yeah. I knew I wanted to collect him. He he looks good. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I think that's the best rookie in that class. Um, I really got to go. I don't know if you, okay, you can Jeff. stay on if you want to keep talking. I just got to pack up and get out of here. Uh, you are good, Joe. Let me just see if, there, uh, if there's anything else here that would uh, require. Somebody got the one-on-one Khabib already. That's crazy. Uh, that's definitely not it, brother. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're gonna let Joe get off here. We're gonna uh we appreciate all y'all for stopping by here tonight. Uh Joe, you wanna let them know you're not gonna be here next month or yeah, uh I am gonna make a formal announcement of this on my channel and stuff, but I'm taking April off, everybody. I'm gonna uh, concentrate on some other stuff. There's some shit going on at work and uh I I'm, I'll still be on Instagram and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna make any videos for the month of April, but Keep your eye on the Golden Octagon, UFC yeah. Card Talk, uh, UFC Card Fiend. Uh, fuck, I'm missing a million people. All the other channels, they're going to be putting out great stuff. And uh, I'll come back when I can. It might look a little different because I'm losing this place that I film my videos. Uh, the, the company I work for is selling this building. So I might start having to film these videos at home, and they're not going to look this nice Joe gonna have it set up like <laughs> this now <laughs> yeah pretty much. It'll, it'll be some it'll probably be me in my garage i mean i do have a nice camera and lights i'll, I'll try to make it look good but it might look d- very different but thank you all this is always super fun uh uh you know it's uh, i honestly the tops chrome's been awesome just because it feels like it's kind of energized everybody it's something new so uh, I'm excited to see what else Tops does, and I'm gonna hit up that dude that I know and tell him all the things that you guys have talked about, and hopefully he can make some changes. Obviously, you know they're probably printing stuff already that they they made three four months ago, so who knows when we'll see anything? But I do want to let him know how we feel about this because we are the people that buy this shit, and we should have our voices heard. So I'm gonna try to do that, 
And thank you guys for watching and talking with us. And thanks for doing all this, Matt, as always. Yes, sir. As always, we appreciate each and every single one of you for hanging out with us here tonight. If you <laughs> if you are on Joe's channel, please hit a thumbs up on that and subscribe to his channel. If you're on my channel, do the same and then go to the other channel and, you know, do all of the things. We would greatly appreciate that. We're just trying to build this UFC card community as much as we can. But don't be an asshole, though, you know? just That's the only thing that we ask. Just don't That's be all asshole. we ask. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let <laughs> it feel. Yeah, we, we appreciate all y'all for stopping by here tonight. My name is Matt. Joe is on that side of your screen, and we will catch y'all in uh, two months. Catch y'all later. Peace.